ForbesDVD.com. So, you know what I'm saying? For all y'all niggas that, you know what I'm saying, doubt my nigga. He get a lot of, um, he gonna spank I'm not gonna say, he get a lot of criticism. But that's what makes him so great, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, right now? I remember these um, haters is helping that nigga turn into God. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that's real. My my thing is that what I don't understand is that why why are people so concerned? Like, because what happened with this shit? I'm gonna tell you what it is. Uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you why niggas are so concerned with what the fuck he's doing or what we may be doing. It's because they didn't believe. They thought it was over. For each and every one of us, that's what that situation. He thought it was over. Mm -hmm. He thought when Max B went to jail. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Free my brother. We thought French was done. Yeah. You stupid little motherfucker. You see this new shit now. You thought when Stacks died, they thought I was done. You stupid little motherfucker. You suck a dick with your eyes open. You back, nigga. My, my, my question to you is that somebody right there, out there right now, how do they get down with Coke Boy? How do they become, you know? You can't just be a Coke Boy. You okay. know what I'm saying? This shit ain't no, this shit ain't no shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. You, can, you, you, you can definitely participate, but you just can't be no coke boy. You know what I'm saying? But this shit is real. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is blood. This is sweats, tears. There's a lot of shit involved because you just can't get the spot. A lot of that syrup. You know what I'm that, saying? I mean, that, shit in the air. You now know, you got the bag. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, let me ask you something. Take donations. I, I would say after French, most likely you up next. Yeah. Um. Do you feel like sometimes? motherfuckers trying to get next to French and shit like that, like, yo, I mean, um, I respect any nigga that's trying to get next to a nigga that's in motion. But do you sometimes want to be like, yo, get that nigga the fuck out of here, man. I see what he's trying to do. No, no, man, like, um, because this shit is, this shit is already in stone, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I'm not worried about another nigga. That's gay, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about no nigga getting next to my man. No, no, no. See, I don't want to take no, it. No, like, no, no, I understand. Wild, exactly. you know no, I understand what, what you said, but yeah. that's gay for me to be worried about another yeah. nigga. I'm on my own shit, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I, I'm, I'm like eight mixtapes deep before Coco. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had my drugs. own fans, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I, I was in Canada. I was here. I was there getting my money off of just coming home from jail, my nigga. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No records on the street, on the radio, no nothing. Just over stacked bundles saying free my nigga change drop. Yeah, yeah, that shows you the power of a nigga voice. Yeah, 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 boy. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I commend a nigga for getting next Could to that man. Could you give man. us, um, you know us an update on Bino right now? Oh yeah, he good, he good. Okay. He'll be home real soon, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Real soon. Man. Shout out to Bino. Yeah, when my homie come home, you know what I'm saying? He's straight, man. He gonna jump right on the board. It's my brother, man. So, um, if you say you get a label situation, mm -hmm. will it be Riot? Will it be Rudy? I have my company? own company. It's okay. called Riot Music Group. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. And I have my own artist. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, Kenny Balls, my little boy. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, I'm focused on branding this Cold Boy shit. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? So, when we break that shit out of jail, it's so, Saying. You don't, you don't think it's you don't think it's out there yet. You don't think it's. I mean, yeah, it's out there. You know what I'm saying? But it's time. You can't yeah, do too yeah. many things at one time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just start tripping all over your feet, and you start looking stupid. So you just pace yourself, uh -huh. one thing at a time. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of doing uh, a bunch of shit and getting no work. You know what I'm saying? But I see a lot of people jumping on Harry Potter right now. You know what I'm saying? You got them smashing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 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 it's like, fuck it. I, I done seen. Shout out to all the people on Box Den too. I seen they they made like a whole thread on the forum about motherfucking Harry Fraud cattle. I was like, damn, Fraud doing, you know, Fraud doing his numbers. Mm -hmm. You've been rocking with Fraud for a while. What is it about Fraud? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of different um, producers, you know, been through different chambers. Of what is it about Fraud that you that you fuck with the most? Um, Fraud, he just he just captures mad different emotions. Like, you know what I'm saying? That white boy got soul. I was just about to say. <laughs> that you know what I'm so he, he, he knows hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck hip -hop. He knows music. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's the key to any musician, whether you do beats, sing, rap. If you know music, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell my mom was cleaning up every Sunday, you know, eyes and brother, and shit playing, and fucking radio. I might sing on a track. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? I might harmonize some shit, you know. All right? You got some other shit with him. But that's from that. I was raised by that. And the same thing for Fraud. So he must have been his mom's 
must be listening to the same shit. Yeah, yeah. It ain't about race, color, creed, none of that. It's just, you know, you, know, you, you also did a um, record with Lil C. Shout out to my homie. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, man. Um, how important was that record for you? Um, it's real important for me, man, because, um, you know what I'm saying, prior to that, I never, you know, I met C through fraud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, everybody hovers around having fraud. Yeah, you know and that's like the meeting place for all the people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, I thought you were going to do Yeah, so, you know, well, great monster of the life. But, um, the nigga from the C's came in the studio and it was like, that shit was obvious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was obvious for us to do a record like that. But the content of the record, how important was that for you? Um, it was, I, I felt like I needed to do that for. The main reason was because I didn't want to. I didn't want to have a bunch of records on uh, some tribute to stacks type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that man was great. He did what he did, and I think the best thing that I could do for stacks right now, as far as keeping his name alive, is, is doing me. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Because he want to see us. You know what I'm saying? Carry that legacy on, and. I gotta do me right now. So after I did that record with C's, he, he talking about his big brother, and I'm uh -huh. talking about mine. You know what I'm saying? That like put a, that's like closed the chapter for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I, I kept it pushing. And I was so focused. And after that, I, I had to worry about that. I felt like I was in a chapter closing for me. So um, if y'all wanna um tell them, tell them the name of that record again, but they might not have. You know, it's called Old Man, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Old Man featuring. Video out C's. there. So go on YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah, check that out. Yeah, you going for DVD.com, that's on there. Yeah. Big homies. So, so, um, how much do you record? Every night. Do 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 you find yourself like, cause cause when, when I'm, I'm not on the road, yeah, I'm in the studio. When I leave you, I'm going yeah. to the studio. You know what I'm what's, saying? What's what's the last record you heard that outside of your crew that was so ill? You was like, nah, I'm going to the studio. All the time. I hear, you know what I'm saying? I hear records all the time come from other artists. It made me feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm slipping, but that's just that competitiveness. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stay on my shit. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta come up with that new thing. You know what I'm saying? And I got shit in the stash that's, so I'm gonna, trying to get that's gonna hurt them. I got some shit that's gonna hurt them. I'm trying to get Chinks to admit that it'd be some shit that he hear out there. He'd be like, yeah, this I, nigga's I, a yeah. fucking clown. Even though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though these niggas is out here and they don't wanna admit, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? That that we hurting them. Uh-huh. Y'all fucked a lot of niggas' pockets. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Uh-huh. I fucked a lot of these rap niggas' pockets. You know what I'm saying? They want that new thing, you gotta move over. You know what I'm saying? So I it's certain areas where I do shows at that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't getting booked no more. Niggas ain't getting booked no more. You know what I'm saying? Rent gotta be paid, baby mom's card, you ain't got the funds. What happened to them shows, baby? All them coke boy niggas, man, they, but we fucking them up. And I had a lot of promoters tell me this shit too. But you know, you know, not in a negative way, but it's just real shit. So let's, um, we got some more, I know we got some more chinks over there. Let's, what else we got over there? I got this, uh, shot though. Ladies, you got a bunch of shit. Yeah, I got a bunch of shit. You got, um, uh, is, is, is that the, the shot caller remix? Yeah. Which one? Cause I heard one. That play that. Play that. I want it. With me, Fritz and Flock. All right. Play, play that. that. Do, do you got the shot caller remix that I heard in Fraud Crew? Like this one that nobody heard, right? Did y'all release? Y'all didn't release that, right? No, I know. The one with Trey the Truth for me. Am I you not supposed to, to say that? Look, you need to send that out. I didn't hear it. I was about to say, baby, I wasn't supposed nah, to say that. Shot Caller got a lot of... Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I heard one with Trey the Truth. You know, that, that I heard some exclusive do some shit. But, um, all right, yo, let's get into some more Chinks Drugs music. Um, We'll come back. Forbes DVD Live. DJ Blaze on the turntable. Forbes DVD Live. Every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. On DTFRadio.com.